Okay, here on my computer, I have a really strange problem with BitLocker. So what I tried to do, I installed Windows 11 freshly on my computer here. And after that, I wanted to install Linux. And I'm here in the middle of my Linux installation and I wanted to install Linux Mint alongside with my Windows Boot Manager. However, if I click continue, it tells me to turn off BitLocker. However, I never activated actively BitLocker here on my machine. It's a freshly installed Windows, so there should be no BitLocker on it. But I cannot install Linux here because it tells me BitLocker is active. And strange enough, it seems that this is the way. So if I have a look here into the partition and the disk manager here, uh, it will tell me that BitLocker is active here. So let's have a look in Windows. Okay, here I'm now in my Windows system. As I said before, it's freshly installed. I did not activate BitLocker. Um, and if I look here at the Explorer, I can see there's, there's no lock here on my C disk here. And if I right click here, I can activate BitLocker. And well, that's it. It seems that it's not active. However, if I look into my disk management here, it tells me BitLocker, the drive is BitLocker encrypted. And well, this is interesting because I have a local uh, account here, no, no Microsoft account. So if this is really BitLocker encrypted and I do not have a key, I will have a problem accessing my data if I change my system, if I put out the SSD out of my computer and plug it to another computer, I cannot access my files without an encryption key. And some of my viewers here uh, already asked me, uh, I never turned on BitLocker, I do not have a recovery key or whatever, I cannot access my data. and. I told them, have a look into your Microsoft account. There should be a uh, recovery key for BitLocker, but um, this could be the case here. I have a local account here. There's no connection to my Microsoft account. It's BitLocker encrypted. I do not have a recovery key. So if anything happens, I could not access my data here. So it seems that Microsoft under some conditions automatically encrypts your drive with BitLocker if you install Windows 11. Okay, let's have a look to the command line. Um, enter cmd here and run as at as administrator and here you can run for example manage bde minus status uh, where's the error ah yeah here, here okay manage by the manage manage minus bde minus status this will give you the status of the BitLocker encryption and it's german here sorry for that but basically tells you here that uh, it's currently under encryption and 99 percent of my drive is already encrypted and well so BitLocker is active here and if you enter manage minus bde minus protectors minus get for C, um, you see it will turn out uh, or output here that there are no protectors found. Sorry again, it's German, but usually you should find entries here for TPM, uh, recovery key or whatever that, uh, where's my key stored for the BitLock encryption basically, and I do not have a key here. So this is risky. So let's deactivate BitLocker. So the command for that is manage minus bde minus off and for c the drive i want to decrypt and now it tells me that the encry encryption is now under process and we can get the current status here with our manage by the e minus status and we can now see the number for the encryption goes down until it reaches zero percent okay now it's finished it's fully, it's no longer en encrypted. So if we have a look here, we can now see that the BitLocker uh, label is gone here now too. And if I want to use BitLocker, uh, I recommend to first deactivate it completely and then activate it here uh, via the context menu. And then you have the option to store your recovery key and your Microsoft account into a file or print it out. And it's important to have this key if you change your computer um, then it will ask for the recovery key and you cannot uh, access your data without the key. It's rather strange that Microsoft sometimes activates it by default without giving you the option to store your recovery key. So my recommendation is now, uh, if you reinstall Windows or if you have Windows already installed, check if you have BitLocker active uh, and you don't know it, then 
I recommend encrypted, uh, decrypted. And if you want to use BitLocker, well, you can just encrypt it manually and store your recovery key. And now Linux will install without a problem. And well, basically that's it. So it's rather strange that Microsoft does it that way without telling you, but yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, goodbye.